Let's play some Xenophob! Yeah! Alright, so this game is Xenophob. It was a, a port from the arcade. Now, if you guys do not know what an arcade system is, if you just came out of the womb yesterday, um, I'll explain now. I'm, just not, I'm not trying to be mean. Uh, but anyway, control is really simple. Directional pad is to move the left and right. To jump is a get you three selection of characters here and B is the fire A is the paw I'm sorry A is the pause. it's uh start is the pause down plus A is to duck oh my god those controls are so advanced I don't want to do this anymore and um yeah, you press A to activate switches behind you there's little blocks with circles in them the objective of the game is quite simple you're supposed to accumulate a score clear enough monsters This game is really recommended for th two players. Much more enjoyment out of it. Alright. Combat knife. So you can't fight that. You can't fight City Hall. But alright. Pretty sure give it a hell of a fight. Ha ha ha. That makes no sense. I know. That's a disc you need. Now you get accumulate a four, four fifty. I believe it is the score you need. Yeah, we accumulate four fifty for the. You can get knocked back, obviously, from these. The cool thing about this game too is it has some of a realism to it. So if you get knocked down, you actually get knocked down like that. There's a penalty. I always thought I was more successful in this game if I actually collected a couple discs. I don't know why. People probably say, "Oh, it has no sequential use in this game." Probably true. Probably misinterpreting what how you're supposed to complete the game, but. To me, it works, so that's why I do it. So far, I'd like to thank, um... Oops, that's one of those masks you collect. I'd like to thank MySky88. He's a new member of our daily gamepad. I'd like to definitely thank him for signing up and joining with us. He does a lot of great content. He's been doing the, the case Mega Man, which he's beating every single one of the Mega Man bosses. And it's a challenge right there, because Mega Man is not an easy game not to you know miss a couple bullets here and there. It's a very challenging game. And so far, he mostly does most stages like 50 times in a row just so he can get it down perfect. Like, no screw-ups. But, you know... Uh, hitting the three minute mark. Right now you're probably saying, yeah, 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 whatever. Just end the end the stage so we can see how the game progresses. But because this game does, oh shoot! <laughs> I'm supposed to clear out this area because the area blinks. That means uh, you're good to go. God, I can go for, good to go. God, I can go for Taco Bell now. Damn it. You know, me and my brother having this conversation near a uh, CVS, and we we're driving by a Taco Bell. Okay, let's go that way. And, you know, I've just been craving tacos for freaking forever. I got a big old bag of tacos. Just munched them things down. Twenty, light a bong or something. I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't do drugs. You know, you have those schools that say that marijuana is bad for you. They don't have any ethical proof. 
there's like no ethical proof that it's necessarily totally bad for you. It's just, you know, I don't think a lot of kind. I don't think America can really tax it. So that's why it's bad. I mean, cigarettes and all that that don't necessarily tax you. They just get a they get a commission off the uh, tobacco companies. But you know, I mean, if you're gonna castrate a, I mean, most countries, most countries, <laughs> most states like California. You know, these guys have like you can have only so much or whatever, and it's, it's quite interesting. You know, this has nothing to do with anything. I'm gonna die really soon because I'm not even paying attention. Wow, I never got one of those before. But that's basically how you play the game. You know, it was just really. Hmm, man. Wow. I got, never got a high score like that before. Must be getting good or bad at the game. Collect a lot of knives, that's for sure. Plenty of floppy disks. The game's really fun again. I mean, it's. It's something you can have with a friend and you can just sit back and just play it for like hours or up until you beat it. Because the game isn't totally over the top hard, it's just, it requires a lot of uh, teamwork and killing enemies quick. But, you know, closing out. This is basically Xenophobe for the Nintendo Entertainment System. If you guys want to purchase this game, it goes for really cheap. It's because not a lot of people understand how the hell to play it, I guess, and that's why it goes on the cheap. That's just my assumption, don't shoot the messenger. But I mean, it's such a fun, sit-down kind of game. It's You're not going to get, you know, a storyline of quote-unquote Halo or anything like that. Uh, you know, it's it's a definitely a fun sci-fi style arcade game. Am I invincible? I am with this gun. Holy crap! Apparently, I am invincible. I'm like freaking juggernaut, bitch. Ooh, me! Oh yeah, I am gonna be going live tonight as well. I will be la putting a video up later on today. Also, in closing, I, I, if you guys haven't already checked it out, please check out the uh, review I did for Xeno Clash. If you want, if you're really interested in you know cl like the game and you are unsure about it, definitely check out my review. I've done that very, very, very recent. I have some troubles with my video software as well, so you know you're not gonna see the, all the top end quality in the world because you know Pinnacle's just been it glitched. So then all my like titles and everything, it got screwed up. So then they're saying I don't, I never owned those titles in the first place, and I really did because I had those with the package. It was it included premium when I bought it. So now they're just like backing out of it, saying, "Oh, we never did. We never give you any of that." So, I mean, they still they know they know it's a legitimate copy. So it's like, what the hell's the problem here? I mean, on top of that, they said that they don't support the uh, software anymore. So it's just like, are you kidding me? Kind of thing. I'm not totally fussed about it. I can just figure out ways to do simplified uh, editing, that's all. I'm though I'm gonna miss a lot of my transitions, because I don't have the transitions I used to have, so that really twerks me off. Depressing nonetheless. But yeah. Should be coming closure to this area soon. I hope. If not, I'm gonna end it in a couple seconds here. Got this gun from hell here. I'm just like wipe cleaning house. Takes like two to three points of damage per hit, maybe. Can't even hit that guy. 